Oh man, that makes it feel so official. That's right, we're doing the Comics Cage match and I couldn't be uh, more excited. Brandon Judd and Shannon Yarbo are here. Uh, they are our competitors, both very, very funny gentlemen. And Shannon's here to uh, defend his trophy. I am. Let's do it. We're gonna and I'm see. here to steal it. We're going to see how it goes. We'll see. Who knows? Anything could happen. It's anybody's game. You guys know how it works. I'm going to read a story, uh, something in the news going on right now, and these guys are going to tee off on some jokes. Uh, Ryan has been brought in. I'm told he works somewhere in this building. He will be our judge today. You guys ready? Thanks, Ryan. Okay, good. They're, for this. they're both trying to pay off Ryan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, here's the deal. A 35-year-old guy was speeding and swerving through Wayne, New Jersey on Saturday night, so the cops pulled him over. He was slurring his speech and making strange hand movements, so the cops knew that he was on something. They just weren't sure what it was. And then they spotted the bottle in his hand. Was it alcohol? No. Drugs? Nope. Over-the-counter mood enhancement medicine for a cat? Yes, that's what it was, really. This guy had been chugging something called catnip cocktail, which is a drink for cats that's supposed to help them with their anxiety. And there's a big warning on it that says it's not safe for people. The guy was charged with driving while intoxicated and reckless driving. It's not clear why he decided to drink his cat's mood enhancement medicine or whether he even has a cat. We don't even know for sure. Let's get things started. Shannon, you are the champion. You get to go first. Hit it. All right. After being asked to get out of his car, the perpetrator ran and hid under the cop car. But they were able to coax him back out with a bowl of warm milk and a ball of yarn. Brandon. Uh, I like to think that this wasn't the first time the guy was caught drinking it, like his cat caught him with it, and then was like, that's it, I'm teaching you a lesson, and then the cat made him drink the whole thing as punishment. <laughs> Shannon. Before being processed and paw printed, they checked for weapons and he had to be declawed. There's a chance he may have to serve nine lives. Wayne, New Jersey has some tough claw enforcement. Oh, man, the fun. Brandon. <laughs> Uh, when asked why he was speeding, the man exclaimed he had to get to a litter box real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. For the sobriety test, instead of walking a straight line, the cops made him chase a laser pointer beam back and forth across the highway. <laughs> Brandon. Sounds like that guy should get neutered. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. Hey, in his defense, he thought the doctor said Adderall, not Caterall. Oh, it's a stretch, but I like it. Brandon. What else are you going to do in New Jersey? Uh, uh, last round, this is it. Closing argument, Shannon. Tim, they say curiosity killed the cat, but I just want to know, was he driving a Ferrari or a Cadillac? Uh, I see Ooh. what you did there, Brandon. Uh, the judge told the man that he needed to turn his life around and ordered him into a fresh step program. Uh, I know what that is. Uh, guys, great work. Ryan, who's it going to be? This is a tough one. Hang I on, if you're going to weigh in, come over to the mic so we can hear you. Ooh. I love the puns, but... So tense. Oh, it's man, so much man. pressure we put on this poor kid. <laughs> oh. He's a college kid, interning at the radio station. Man, we can make it $300. Right? Oh, and if you got come on. I think we I think we need a new way. There's too many bribes going on. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Brandon Judd is yes, our new thank you. is our new winner. Shannon, <laughs> Shannon, it was a good it was a good run. Again, you can catch Shannon at the quintessential co quintessential comedy show oh, thank you. Sunday, February 18th, 7 p.m. at Quintessential in St. Charles. Brandon has officially been handed the trophy. Uh, Brandon, Improv Shop, February 18th. Hey, tell us about that. Uh, yeah, it's a show called uh, Live Comedy DVD, where uh, we watch comics and uh, we comment on their sets as if we had directed and written their sets, just like DVD bonus features. I love that. <laughs> that's awesome. Again, that's at the Improv Shop on February 8th. Thank you guys so much. That was Comics Cage Match. We'll be back in just a little bit. Here's Pink. Blow me one last kiss on Now 96.3. It's the Tim Convey Program.